So one of the things I learned from my children was the writing of the characters, and they spent many, many, many hours doing moshie. Hello, my name is Sherry Poon, and I'm from Canada. I was born and raised in Canada, but have been living in Shanghai for 18 years. An architect by background, but I am now a designer of clothing, as well as an uh, event organizer. Both my parents were born in China, and then were raised actually in Hong Kong, and then they immigrated to Canada in the late 60s, so they were uh, quite early to immigrate to Canada, and they were there um, to study more, um, but then they thought that for their future children, they would have a better life in Canada. As a recent architecture graduate, my husband and I pretty much looked at the map and said, okay, where is the most building cranes in the world? In Canada, it is very hard to find good work, good opportunities. It also takes a long time to see your design go through from beginning to the end. And we found out in China, especially in Shanghai at that time, there was a lot of building going on. So we thought, yeah, why not? Let's go to China. Canada and China and the way that a the city works or the people work is very different and there is a very long period of adjustment for my husband and I and our family. One of the things, for example, is you know, just crossing the street. We had to learn to look left and right and then left and right and left and right again before we cross the street, which is not usually what we have to do in, in Canada. We can sort of expect the cars to come from one side only. But what we do love is that we are right downtown and it's so easy accessible to everything. Just you know, we can we don't need a car. We can walk or take the public transportation, often we bike as well. So from home to school to office to uh, restaurants anywhere, it's all really very close by, which we can't really have in Canada. We can often need to have a car and drive for a long time before you get anywhere. You know, just the way that China flows, the way that the people do business, we find that there's always a need for adjustment and to be flexible. So we've uh, become more patient as well, <laughs> living in China, because we never really know day to day what's going to happen. There's nothing that you can really plan for, and often our plans are never seen through, but uh, there's always a plan B or C or D or E. <laughs> when I first came to Shanghai, I worked in an Australian firm as an architect. And then when I had my first child, I decided to start my own business because I wanted to raise her instead of having um, somebody else raise her. So I decided to start an organic children's clothing company because that was one of our passions. Um, sustainability has always been a passion for myself and, and my husband. We also found that our daughter had skin sensitivities and that one of the things that could help with her skin was organic cotton. So when I found that I could not find the, the type of clothes that I wanted, I decided instead to start my own business. After starting the clothing business, I found out that there was actually not a huge support or platform for sustainable businesses like mine. And then similar to the clothing business, I thought, well, I'll just do it myself. And so I started off the Eco Design Fair, which is a market and a educational platform for the community and for eco brands. And as my children got older, they actually got into designing with me. So for example, and one day I saw her putting up her dress and it was on backwards. And I said to her, oh, you know, I'm sorry, but your dress is on backwards. And then we started to think of ways where a dress could be put on, but it didn't matter if it was inside, outside, backwards or forwards. You could wear it any which way. And so that became our four-way dress and was one of the most popular styles. Although when I first came to Shanghai 18 years ago thinking, oh, maybe the roads in Shanghai have dirt roads, to now realizing that actually Shanghai is sometimes more modern and more technically advanced than even Canada. And so I think in the future, that's going to be a very positive advantage for Shanghai, that they're able to move forward so quickly, especially in sustainability. So hopefully they will sort of lead the world in a lot of advances in both products and services, and for my own passion in